Hmm. Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy dedicated specifically to coaching every single day. Today we're returning with one of your favorite series, the Spectating Solos series, but I do it a little bit differently where I play through the entire lobby talking through everything, whether it's the rotations, new jump spots, how I'm winning gunfights, and how I'm making the game feel less RNG. Like, I'm just getting third party. This guy was camping. I'm picking apart the entire lobby methodically. And it may not be the craziest high kill game you've ever seen, but you're getting inside the mind of, I wouldn't say I'm a pro, but someone who's pretty dang good at solos so you can help improve your game. If I end up getting taken out, I talk through what my opponents did well, what they could have done better and walk through to the end of the game breaking down every step of the way if you guys enjoy this type of value oriented warzone video make sure to subscribe to this channel we are rocketing through 40,000 members of the ice man isaac academy i'm really glad you guys like this second channel but without further ado join me over on twitch if you want to catch this live like this video to help out for the algorithm and comment down below the type of video i should be doing next thanks again for all the support guys i'll see you all in the next one enjoy yes. All right, let's get it. First game of the day. Boop. Let's just drop right away. A little bit late on the drop. Uh, sh there should be a heli down here. Maybe there's not. Don't know what happened. All good though. Primary objective is to eliminate all enemies. Attack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Streamer loot. You guys are well familiar with it at this point. We're going to be going through, running through, doing a little solo coaching. If everything, if everything is going well, we're just going to run the whole game, play it out for the win. But if things don't, we're just going to spectate till the very end, see what's going on. Normally, I don't like heartbeats. But if area. we're playing super early size. game, no one is ghosted. I'm down for a little heartbeat action. Window broken here. Crouch so he can't hear me. Oh my god, I got prone blocked. Oh my god, I got prone blocked so hard right there. Okay, well that was terrifying for the first gunfight of the day. Go against a demon and I get prone block. So yeah, I hit him there, tried to get some wall bang hits, and then I just forced my way through and already started my pre-aim, right? So it's not like I I ran through and then started my pre-aim because sprint to fire can be annoying. So I just ran through the door. And as soon as that door broke, I broke myself out of the sprinting animation because I think if you're, yeah, if you're pre-ADS'd, it won't break the door. So as soon as that door broke, then I aimed down sight. So, doors open there. Gotta be careful. Gunshots at my level. A lot of fighting. Three different gunshots. Keep an eye on the roof. Oh, there right there. Dead. Keep an eye on that roof. That player's dead right there. R98. Actually, I'm down for it. Contacts are drying out. Sweet. Okay. I'm pretty sure someone just splatted. All right, nothing. All right, sweet. I'm going to work my way up towards the right and towards the other hangers. Yep, because I saw doors open there. And that's where the action is. Like I said, normally I think heart beats a major crutch. But solos clearing out buildings. Just using it to find a little bit of information and then full send. 49 meters. Oh no. Normally I wouldn't shoot from that distance, but knowing that he was already in a gunfight, he's probably going to be weak. Both the heartbeat. This guy's still alive. 30 meters. Could be in the bathroom. He also could be up top, so I gotta be careful. Yeah, he's gonna be up top. Check the repeat. 
hear him running deep. Little jump spot right here. Never expects it. Let's go. Uh, I don't think cluster is very useful, but combat bow can be really nice for, for pushing people out. So I'm going to keep the combat bow. Snapshot grenades. Never hurts to throw them. Nice. Good start. $26,000. I want to start getting a UAV. Also a vehicle up here. That's like a huge area. Anyone could be in those windows. So I'm, I want to avoid rotating through there and rotating up here where I have a little bit more cover. Oh, 17 seconds on the train, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Might be a little late on that one. I think we're all locked on coaching mode. AJ Franklin, thank you for the tier one for 21, homie. Get the self revive, pop the UAV, and then I'm gonna hold the UAV. We got recon coming. Rip the train. UAV beginning flyover. All right, so that I, I got like one ping inside of Arsenal, and that guy's down low. It's just gonna be really annoying to fight. So I'm just gonna work my way towards other areas where more people should be. Oh, I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. I should have killed him sooner. Nothing. Ghost town. Ooh, except for this guy. What the heck? Oh, he, he seat swapped. Get the seat swap. Nice. So I know that guy's going to be really weak, right? So I cracked him. And I'm going to be looking for attack rover to get out. When I see that attack rover, I'll know exactly where he is. Or he's going to be out in front of me, and he's still going to be inside it. Unless he seat swapped. He could have seat swapped, and he technically wouldn't have left his attack rover. And he could have seat swapped, and he'd still be full plates. So I got to be careful about that. Yeah, and based off the way he's playing, he, he seat swap plated. He's trying to set up for a piece by cover. That's exactly what he's doing. You're better. Good job. Thank you. What a nice guy. <laughs> You're better. You're better. Nice job. You're better. Why, thank you. Hmm. I'm still going to hold on to the car just because I like... Actually, no. We're, we're, we're putting up some SDG gameplay today. So we'll rock the SDG. Yeah, the whole point of that, obviously, right? If he gets out of the vehicle, you'll see it pop up on your map. But when you seat swap, you're still occupying it. So it'll still show up. It won't show up on the mini map as an available vehicle. Hmm. Can I look for players possibly rotating out of here late? I still have a UAV. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get it. So one loadout drop right there. So there's going to be someone close. I'm going to pop UAV before I get to my loadout. UAV beginning flyover. And here is... Ah, okay. So that's the 4x8. Not sure how I feel about that, I'll be honest. We'll give it a try. Normally, I'm a 3x6 guy, but someone told me to try out the 4x8. Eh. Not sure yet. We'll figure it out. No pings on the UAV whatsoever. So I think it's probably time to head over towards, like, field to the other side of the map. We'll just get a buy station en route. Grab that one or something. That's all the way up there. Two loadouts right next to me. I'll blow it. Pop it instantly. UAV beginning flyover. Some guy up top. He just dropped in to get his loadout. I want to get more info though. I want I want someone a little bit more uh, threatening with a lot more people. Ugh, and frankly, I hate fighting in mines, but we should be able to get a pretty quick kill here. UAV is out of fuel. Turning for resupply. My 
I guess, would be inside of that building. There he is. Muni, grab the precision. Oh no, I was just about to move. I don't know if you can see me from here. Oh no, I thought I was going to be able to get out with the timing. Oh, you can just barely see me. Good shots. Oh my god, shooting bodies and solos. I would never. Alright, slowly bot turn. Snap over. Fight your way out of this or capture the objective. Fall for it every time. Boom. Um, that guy's probably going to be there, and I would love to ego that, but he has loadout. And I have a pistol. Mm -hmm. Maybe go for that supply drop. I think I'm gonna go do that, man. I really, I'm not in love with the STG. This this isn't gonna be an STG video, anyways. I really am not a fan of that four by eight. Um, let's hit the regain. Spectating solos. Probably end up grabbing the sniper if we do get another loadout, and just resetting this. But we definitely gotta change up that. Uh, That STG build. Contract confirmed. Let's get to work. Located a supply box. Secure that position. Supply drops over here. These things are actually nice. Supply drops are fantastic if you can pick them up. The things with the green smoke. The orange crates that show up on your map, the heavy weapons crates, are trash. They drop like a like an yes, RPG. You save some maybe a stack of cash. And like an LMG. Like it's it's mm, not worth looting at all. It makes sense if it gave you like a precision airstrike and maybe like a, I, I've gotten a minigun out of one before, so I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, but definitely not as good as what I just got out of there. I could be really toxic and pick up that that grenade launcher. I got a self revive, whole bunch of cash, whole bunch of ammo. Now I'm feeling set. Satchel. Hopefully find a little bit more cash. And then we can buy a UAV. In solos, I have been absolutely in love with high alert recently. Just because it prevents all the ghosted players. Like, I don't even enjoy popping UAVs that much. Just damn near the entire lobby is ghosted after the first one drops. Be careful, though. Dead body here. Nice shots out of this guy. Absolute demon. An enemy team is hunting you. Don't become Check my prey. back real quick. I thought he may have been in there. What the heck is this guy? Check my back. Oh, there he is. Alright. Now that we know where he's at, we can start rotating around him. We've got a vehicle rolling up. I see him right on the corner of my mini-map. I wants my cheeks bad. Oh, that's the guy that's my bounty. Enemy UAV active.
Yeah, that one was just toxic. Sorry, boys. There's no strategy behind that one. Oh, I get flinch. You can actually get flinched on this gun. All the, well, it actually, every sniper you can get flinched, but right now the car 98 is still broken. Modern Warfare car 98. You can throw um, focus on it. And then it has no flinch. So even though they added more flinch to that and the Swiss, you throw focus on and it effectively has no flinch. He's committed. He's honestly committed. But all of those times that he spent and he cracked me and he cracked me and he cracked me and he never pushed forward, man. That was his problem. He just needed to push me and he didn't push me one time. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the Volk. It, I, I'm getting hit reg issues on it, so I'm not going to rock the Volk. Absolute Duffy on that guy. I should have time. Two minutes left. Yeah, I got time. To run up here. Grab a UAV. Fortunately, still have myself. And then start playing for the dub. Not going to be a crazy high victory, but it should be a pretty fun... Pretty fun one to end up over here. As I'm rotating up the hill, I haven't cleared this yet. Pop a UAV. Got a vehicle rolling towards me. I still have my... Oh, where's my combat? Oh, I dropped my combat. No way. That was a free kill if I didn't drop my combat scout or my uh, combat bow. Oh, sniper! UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. All right, I got one ping of a guy above me, but most likely way above me. Probably going to go back down for his stuff, possibly. All right. Kind of put myself in a bad spot there. I was sniping multiple shots out in the open without protection. Now I'm going to reset, recage my mind. I'm not worried about anything happening on the left. My entire focus is this lower right. Where are people getting pushed out of by the zone? What is the zone doing to people? Where do I expect them to be? Out of the lower right, getting pushed up by the gas. So I'm checking the lower right, checking my back to make sure no one wrapped in behind me. Keeping an eye out to make sure no one took the ult like ultimate high ground on me. Double checking my back. And now I'm going to start wrapping up and take it. I'm dead. I got a gold gas mask so I can make a gas play if I need to. Stun bought me time. Gas is moving in. New safe zone highlighted. Gonna bring the attention of the other guy, so I'm gonna make sure I get down. Truck pushing over the top. If he pushes over, I got a C4. Uh-oh. I'm stunned. Bummer. You're nothing without your stuns. Oh. So basically, whenever you get stunned, the only things that you can do is like try to bunny hop or try to like mantle or do anything to get some distance. But stuns in this game are still incredibly overpowered. And uh, yeah, I just got rolled up on. If I would hit that quick scope, I would have been fine. But since I lost my loadout earlier and I was shooting an unsuppressed MP40 whenever those guys were rolling up on me, I'm pretty much, you know, open to the entire world whenever I've uh, whenever I've shot. But now we're looking at this guy. He's got 12 kills already. 
He was able to spot that guy in the distance. Pretty easy spot there. And he's got a trophied SUV. Stuns. I don't believe that's a custom MP40. I think that's just a ground loot MP40. It probably is a ground loot MP40. And then he went ahead and got himself ghost. I mean, but this guy is just terrified. Even seeing someone coming in from the gas. From the gulag. Double popping two stuns. So I'm pretty confident he's not going to go anywhere if he has to take a uh, fair 1v1. But 14 players or 14 kills, seven players left. He's got a lot of spectators because he killed me. Should get a pretty easy kill right here on this guy. This guy's completely lost. This lobby was pretty free, man. Pretty free. But now he's just doing what you'd see in every single Solo's video. Abusing the third party of getting out of vehicles. Taking early power positions. And then I don't know what his secondary is. I think it's an AR. And just everyone is getting baited. It's like uh, we watched a video by Birder Speed on the main channel. And it suggested putting some sort of like exit animation to where you just can't instantly teleport and get out. But unfortunately, they haven't added that. I think once again, I question whether or not these guys play their own game because this is so easy to break. Oh, you looked up this guy. He's only 1.2 KD. Yeah, I mean, he's not really doing anything. He's literally shooting at people in the back. And when he killed me, it's because he stunned me. Crutch mechanics for bad players is kind of what this unfortunate state of Warzone has come to. But, hey, he's executing it well. So you got to give him props for that. Like I said, he gets in a fair 1v1. Yeah. Well, classic Kurt, what did, uh, what did I say was going to happen? And it literally happened. The guy's got a 1.2 KD. He finally gets in a fair gunfight. Gets literally ripped off because he got out in the middle of nowhere. So now we're on to Grit. Your footsteps on his left. The guy got into a vehicle. He was probably trying to reload or something or I don't even know. 1v1 situation. If I were him, this would be a great time to get into a vehicle because at the very least, while getting into the vehicle, you can use that third-person perspective. But yeah, if you're going to abuse the cars, at the very least, use the cars to get out next to cover. He got out in the middle of the open field and tried to quickscope someone. And yeah. All right, one player left. No idea, no information from this guy where he might be. He has a heartbeat sensor, but ideally that'll be useless to him. So we can actually see a fair 1v1. A lot of ruins to be fighting in, and it looks like it's going to end in the ruins as well. I'd be really careful. You know, it, I understand wanting to be cautious, but this right here, that slow crouch is really easy to shoot. So if you are going to be scanning, that's fine. Just always make sure you're back and forth like laterally so you're harder to snipe. Because this sniper could be anywhere. He's got the opportunity here to take kind of like that super deep wrap up the high ground, which he's going to opt for. Nice piece of natural cover for him. He needs to clear out that rock out in front of him. Nice. And then anytime I'm making these transitions, like from here, the threat is going to be close, right? So his threat right now is on his close left because he hasn't cleared that. As he's clearing that out, because he still hasn't cleared it out all the way, the guy could be proned out up here. He needs to be pulling out his SMG, so that way he goes through no man's land faster, and then he's ready for an engagement. On top of that, like, crest up on this hill, because you want to see where your opponents are. We got a ping right up here uh, on his mini-map of a guy inside of Ruins, which gave away his position. And now this guy is absolutely set. Disgusting head glitch, high ground. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, if we're going to be moving through the map slowly, like, you can move through the map slowly, but in No Man's Land, transition to transition, book it. 
and you know that's what that's what crouch walking will get you and that's what your first solo lobby of the day will get you man this was an absolute burger lobby there were some good players in there for sure um but not uh not the sweaty solo lobbies i'm used to but first game out of the day so what can we expect well the opponent threw an airstrike which was smart because it pushed him off the high ground so the opponent clearly saw him go up there but while the other guy is displaced you either have to hit your shots or move into a position where you can capitalize on well and frankly that guy didn't even know where like the you know the shots were coming from so he could have pushed all the way forward to the edge of the ruins place that airstrike now this guy all of a sudden is displaced and then start taking shots at that guy while he's displaced instead of being stuck all the way back in middle ruins placing the airstrike he's displaced and he can't hit shots push all the way forward and then you can capitalize with that play but obviously wasn't the uh the best lobby my my editor will pull up the stats i imagine that was probably a little bit of an easier lobby my guess would probably be a 1.0 or uh or less but uh hey Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is on the second channel, the Iceman Eyes Academy. If you want to catch more content, both coaching from my perspective, coaching of other pro players, and coaching of yourselves, where we submit your gameplay to review it, make sure to like this video, help out the algorithm, subscribe for even more, and make sure you're subscribed both here on the second channel and the main channel. Peace.